everyone. Welcome to Mystic Monica. My name is Monica, of course, and I am here today to share with you a practice that I've been doing um, for many years, the Spinal Energy Warm-Up. What I love about this practice is that before you do any other kind of uh, yoga poses, this is this is a, uh, a warm-up that everyone of all ages can do. I mean, I have young children to seniors and well in their 80s that I have worked with, and it's easy. You can do it either like sitting down or you can do it in the chair, you can do it at the office. And if you, you know, they, they say you are as healthy as your spine. So if you ever see those old yogis, they stand nice and tall and everything, because they just keep on moving their body and, and creating mobility in the spine. Uh, so that is one of the things I love about this practice. The other thing is that there's like really good breathing in between, during, and every time we'll do like an exercise in between, we'll take a moment to rest, just a moment to rest, and I call it like mini meditation. This has just been a win-win for me and for anyone who practices it. We just feel uh, invigorated, but yet calm and relaxed. So beautiful way to start your morning, great way to like finish your day, like let's say you get home from five o'clock, or even some of the exercises that we'll be doing, or some of the movement, if you're sitting at the office or you're on your computer a lot, you could just do some of those. I'm gonna kind of be walking you through it and mentioning what, um, what and when or where you can, you can do it. The other thing is that I wanted to just bring at a time like now with, with everything that's going on um, and we're kind of closed in, uh, we need to move, we need to stay healthy. And the most important thing that we need to do is self-care. So movement, eating well, trying to sleep as best as you can, and trying to reduce our anxiety and our fear. So I feel that like every time I come in back into my body, take a moment and rest, I, I know I'm okay. Like right now, we're okay. You're watching this you're okay so this is like such a beautiful way that we can share with each other all the things that that uh, how we can help each other we all have incredible gifts and in this day and age we can go and you know on Instagram social media and just share whatever expertise we have uh, to help each other because we really need this now. I wanted to, uh, before we begin, I just want to give a big shout out to um, Summit School where I teach and I miss you all so much. Uh, so I hope that you know you have an opportunity to follow this, follow my practice. And um, the other thing I want to say is that I will be doing some guided meditations. So those will be coming up soon. Uh, so you just check, if you subscribe to my, to my uh, YouTube channel, then you're gonna see they're gonna come up. Also, if you have any questions whatsoever, or you're going through anything and you just want some help on like how to relax your system, how do I do this breathing exercise, please reach out to me and I'd love to hear from you and help you in any way that I know how, okay? So let's get started. All right, so make yourself comfortable. So whether you're sitting on, a, you know, on the floor on a mat, I like this little cozy rug, or you can sit in a chair, like I said, and prop a pillow. You wanna just make sure that your spine is nice and straight, and just sort of relax your shoulders. Okay, so this just, I just lost my music for a moment. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. All right. Let's just take one hand in our heart center and the other one on our belly. Close your eyes. 
And just take a moment and notice how you're feeling without any judgment. Just noticing the ebb and flow of your breathing. Just noticing how you feel. Relaxing your face, your shoulders all the way down into the belly. Feel your belly fill up with breath. So you're just going to breathe a little deeper. As you inhale, breathe in through your nose and breathe out of your nose or out of your mouth. a moment and just be grateful that you're here to take care of yourself and do some good for yourself and for everybody around you. Okay, you can open your eyes now. And what we're going to do is we're just going to start to breathe a little deeper into the belly. Sometimes it's hard if we're used to breathing into the chest, but we're going to try our very best. So you're going to breathe in through your nose, fill up the belly, and then breathe out. Breathe in, and out. Keep it going. Breathe in big, and out. Good. Do it on your own rhythm, and out. You can even close your eyes. You're going to see I exaggerate our, my breath so I can really flush out the toxins. Great. Super job, everyone. Okay, now bring your arms to the side. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Hold that breath. And breathe out. Can we do that again? Breathe in. Hold. And exhale out. One more. Hold. And breathe out. Okay, we're going to start doing our spinal energy warm up. So we're going to start from the base of our spine. I'm just going to show you the side view. And as you see, do you see my back is nice and straight? If you feel like you're curling back, just pick it up. And now we're going to flex, inhale, breathing in, looking up, and breathe out, roll back. Breathe in, and up. If you want, breathing in through the nose, and exhale out of the mouth. Now you're going to try to find your own rhythm as you breathe in and up. Keep it going. We're just going to do this for a little bit longer. Take it nice and slow. And then I want you to just notice, you know, if you're feeling a little stiff, just slow down. If you need to pause for a moment, go ahead. Close your eyes. Now let's take a nice deep breath. Inhale. Hold the breath. And exhale. Great. Let's just take our legs out for a moment. Shake them out. Get that circulation going. Some of us, it's a little difficult to just Keep on sitting in the same position. At any time, if you feel uncomfortable, please go move around. You know, twist, turn, stretch your legs. Do what you need to do. Listen to your body. Listen to, we're all different, in, you know, in the way we feel. So don't, you don't have to follow me all the time. All right, so now we're going to start moving the energy. Now it's called Kundalini. We're rising the Kundalini, which is like, it's like this 
spiral of energy that goes up through our body all the way up to the crown of our head. And then it just releases, okay? So we want to just move that. So let's just get a nice flow. Relax your breathing. Relax your face. You don't have to force the breath. And let's just do this. I'll let you know when we're, we're coming to an end and just drop those shoulders. your eyes, coming into a nice meditative state. Breathing nice and slow. And pause to the center. If you wish, you can switch directions your legs cross and go the other way around. Usually we have one side we're more comfortable than the other. And come back and close your eyes. This is really good for our digestion, massaging our organs. Take a deep breath, inhale, arms up, hold that breath again, lock the breath in, and breathe out. Okay, shake it out, shake your legs out. Again, once again, we're going to lift and straighten up our back, and we're going to stretch our toes, our feet up, point your toes, flex them up, point and flex. Point and flex, point and flex. And then let's move our feet in a circle. So if you hear any background noise, it's because, well, we're all living together in the same space. So don't be surprised if you hear people talking in the back in my place or sounds. Uh, we're just trying to make the best of it, just like you are. So excuse anything that's going on. But anyway, that's the charm of living together in one space, right? Okay, good. Now shake it out, shake it out. Come back. Um, I want to do one more, a really good uh, stretch with this, like continuing our flexing spine. But let's first, if you're sitting in a chair, just stretch your legs out. But if you're on the floor, we're going to come into tabletop. You want to have your hands shoulder width apart and your knees right underneath your hips. Take one leg out and stretch onto your toes. And just kind of lift and lengthen the spine and breathe. Just take a breath. Good. And then we're just gonna we're just stretching out a little bit on each side. Great. Okay, and let's come back to the center. Now, not everyone's comfortable um, with like sitting on your knees, so you can take like a, a blanket or something and just kind of prop yourself up so you can sit on it and it might be easier. And if not, come back to sitting with your legs crossed. Let's go back to flexing our spine. Now we're moving up into our belly and into the navel. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Now close your eyes. It's my daughter talking in the background. <laughs> Keep it going a little bit longer. Good. And take a deep breath. Inhale. Hold the breath. And breathe out. Okay. So let's come back. We're going to play 
place our hands onto our shoulders and we're going to just roll them back. So we're just coming up into the heart center and just breathe in and out. Good. Okay, so make yourself comfortable. We're coming into spinal twist. So what you want to do is breathe in to the left and breathe out to the right. Breathe in to the left and breathe out to the right. And then we just find a nice fluid movement. So breathing in to the left and to the right. Keep it going. If you need to slow down, slow it down. Keep it going. Take, slow it down, come to the center, take a deep breath, inhale, hold, and exhale out. This is where we come into a mini meditation. I want you to notice how you feel, how you're doing. Take here for a moment and pause. I'll be right back. Coming, staying into your meditative state. Okay, so let's open our eyes. Now we're gonna do this thing called bear grip. So you're going to just curl your fingers in like this and lock them in. As we move the energy up into the heart center and into our shoulders. So the same thing, we're just gonna bring the elbows up and down. So same into the breathing. So breathing in and out. We're gonna do this for about, you know, 30 seconds, maybe a bit longer. Close your eyes. Pump the breath. Find your rhythm. So you might go a little slower or you go a little faster. Keep it going. Doing great. Deep breath, inhale, hold, hold, and you pull up the grip, hold your breath, and exhale out. Relax, take a moment, beautiful job. Okay, our last one we're going to do in the spinal energy warm up is we're going to do shoulder shrugs. So you breathe in, shoulders up, and breathe out, shoulders down. Keep, yeah, so just make sure you use your breathing. You have to be careful to not hold your breath because then that creates blockages in your system. Keep it going. So this is really, this is one of the exercises that I recommend that you do when you're at the office or you've been on the computer for a long time, your, your, neck, your neck is stiff. This is great, great exercise to do. You release the tension in our neck. Breathing in and out. longer doing great I know you can feel the burn happening but it's a good burn if you need to stop go ahead and stop take a deep breath inhale hold the breath hold it a little longer doing great and exhale out 
just release that heat, bring your chin down, stretching the neck around your head. Good, stretch. And let's go the other way around, opposite way. Bring your chin down, take a deep breath, inhale, slowly come back up. And let's just stretch our body out just a little bit more. Now, if you're on a chair, I can show you. So let's imagine you're sitting on a chair, okay? You want to come to your chair and make, we're going to come into downward dog. But if you're sitting, you can just grab the chair and just stretch out like this. Maybe bend one knee and then the other knee, just alternating the spine, twisting the spine, getting like a good stretch, okay? If you're on the floor, on the mat, you're gonna come on to, come to tabletop on your hands and your knees, as hip, uh, shoulder width apart, knees hip width apart, shoulders on top of your head, and we're just going to Let's just flex the spine just a little bit more. Breathe in, look up, and breathe out. Stretch into the calf. Looking up, and exhale out. Breathe in, and up. And one more, breathe in, and up. Okay, come back to neutral, tuck the toes underneath, and coming into downward dog, just keep those knees bent just a little, so you'll see I have a nice little bend, and then I'm going to drop my hand and push into the earth, into the ground, into my hand, lengthening my spine, and then maybe shake out your head a little bit. Now just slowly, maybe one side push down the heel, and then the other side, just alternating sides. Getting a good stretch. If you get tired, come back down onto your knees. And let's come onto the knees. We're just going to take a little rest into child pose. Pausing. So you just rest your feet back onto your heels. If you need to put like a pillow underneath, you can do that. And then rest your forehead onto your hand. Coming into a nice, deep, slow, really slow belly breath. Releasing chop. This is really like a very nurturing pose. Pose. It also releases pressure in the lower back, maybe moving side to side. And then slowly come up. And that is the spinal energy warm up. I hope you feel so much better. And just, you know, take advantage of this downtime that you can use. You can be productive, you can take care of yourself, finding new ways to nurture your body. I am going to do another, after this, um, after we finish with this one here, tune into the next one. I'm just going to do, I wanted to just teach you uh, some breathing exercises to continue relaxation. Once we finish the breathing exercises, then you can rest and lie down on your back for a final resting pose. But until then, thank you so much for joining me in our practice. And I look forward to seeing you again. I really look forward to hearing back from you. Uh, so please subscribe so that you can like continually see what's coming up and what I'm just and showing and sharing with you all. So I wish you all love and and care and you know all the good things that we all need 
to like strengths that we just need to get through all of this. So namaste. Love you.